Hey guys, this is Tyler Zombro with Tread Athletics, and today with pitch design tips, we wanted to take a look at sliders. So the first thing I wanted to touch on is really there are two main slider categories. Again, we know the sweeper is becoming extremely prevalent in the game, and you also still have the gyro slider. So I think it's pretty cool to see how this pitch has changed throughout uh, baseball history, and again, with the sweeper coming in. Uh, there's been, you know, the old adage of throw the slider hard, bullet spin, uh, and now we're seeing as you can promote more sweep with good velocity, uh, we're seeing positive results with that as well. So figuring out which slider is right for you is something that uh, you really have to look at the rest of your arsenal to decide. For instance, if you're more of a vertical profile pitcher, a gyro bullet spin might work a little bit better in terms of that movement mirroring, maybe putting it in the zone a little bit more. If you're more of an east to west pitcher, then certainly sweep is gonna be beneficial for you. Let's look at a couple of the things that we can kind of target here with gyro spin versus sweeping. So the first thing that I would recommend in a pitch design session on sliders is really trying to get to that zero line. So when we get to that zero line, we know that in general, we're gonna have that pure bullet spin because we're not having arm side movement and we're not getting heavy to the glove side. When we're right on that zero line, we know even if we have a little bit of back spin for positive vert, horizontally, we're getting to where we need to be. And then really we can work off of that. We do know with gyro sliders compared to sweepers, you need to throw them harder. But I also think throwing a gyro slider hard opens up a lot of possibilities for your arsenal. If you are trying to really focus on the gyro component, uh, I would say, again, you can use an iPhone. If you have a slow-mo camera, you can use that as well. But gyro, you're really trying to get that bullet spin. You're not trying to see crazy elements of side spin, top spin, et cetera. Um, so making sure you can get a little bit of that bullet profile. Uh, traditionally, a lot of the grips you're gonna see out of the bottom of the horseshoe. Some guys use the top of the horseshoe. Some guys like to go in the shoe. Um, again, a variation uh, that you can kind of try out there, but whatever's gonna come off your fingers to promote that bullet spin is what I would start working with. And again, you're looking to get that to the zero line horizontally. Next, we can talk a little bit about sweepers. So sweepers, there are really two ways you're gonna get there. You're gonna get there by shifting the axis hard and side spinning that ball better, or the whirly has become very popular with seam shifted wake. A lot of times you'll see that offset two seam grip where really when you throw this pitch, it's promoting even some more backspin with the pointer finger kicking it late to keep that ball elevated. A pretty hard pitch to master. Again, we know with seam shifted wake, it's probably not gonna be as consistent uh, as simply just moving the axis or altering the efficiency but it's something a lot of guys can get really good at. So figuring out, am I sweeping it with more efficient spin or am I getting a little bit of seam shifted wake with that? When you are shifting the axis and promoting more side spin on the ball, uh, some good tips and cues. Uh, I've heard Jason Foster here at Tread always talks about getting to the top right corner of the ball. If you're a, a higher slot guy, you gotta think about actually being underneath the ball throwing a sideways curveball. Uh, there are tons of different ways to think about it, but you just have to remember you're trying to generate side spin on this pitch, which is hard to master. Um, and you really have to create some feels there for what you're doing. Uh, and again, having video feedback is critical for that. But playing around with sliders, there's a lot you can do between gyro and sweep. So Blake Trinan is a really good example of this, uh, a guy I like to reference. He threw a gyro slider really hard his entire career. He realized that he could get a little bit of seam shifted wake and tilt the axis a little bit, uh, maybe a touch more side spin. And then he started getting a ton of sweep on this pitch. But because he was throwing the gyro slider so hard before, he could sacrifice three miles an hour for more sweep on that pitch. So looking at where you're at velocity wise is also really important because odds are if you're throwing a gyro slider with pretty low velocity, you're not gonna be able to sweep it at high velocity. Last thing I will add with a sweeper is you can promote a little bit of a baby spike. Maybe if you need to get around the ball more, 
We want that middle finger to really dominate the pitch. Uh, oftentimes we know when the pointer finger gets involved, you're gonna have more backspin to it. So something to play a lot around with a lot is utilizing a mini spike or really just kind of dead weighting, no pressure on that pointer finger and get heavy on the middle finger as that determines our axis. So let us know where you're at. Are you a guy who favors a gyro slider or a sweeper? Um, you know, have you seen results vary based on that? Uh, give these things a shot and see where it best fits in your arsenal. Uh, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.